Did the old prophets actually meet angels on top of mountains? Or were they highly intelligent beings from a galaxy far, far away? Today, we're taking a look at three well-known sightings of UFOs, because let's face it, we're not alone, and the evidence is everywhere. Gimbal. We begin our story right off the coast of Florida. Late one night, a Navy pilot from the nuclear aircraft carrier sees something speeding over the clouds. It was coming from the east and heading towards the ship. The Navy didn't know what the flying object was. They called it an unidentified aerial phenomena or UAP, which is the new way of saying UFO. The New York Times released the video clip titled Gimbal in 2017, sending ufologists into a frenzy. What was that cruising at an altitude of over 25,000 feet? Where did it come from and where was it going? Even the pilots who saw the UAP weren't sure what they were seeing. One of them thought it was a drone since it was speeding against the wind. Many speculate the UAP was foreign spying technology, which is also worrying. But what country could have such advanced looking saucer-like aircraft? The pilot who initially spotted the UAP described his experience to the Senate in 2019. He also provided other classified documents about the sighting to Congress. So we're still in the dark about what happened. We don't know everything there is to know about that flying saucer. Or as Senator Mark Rubio put it, there is stuff flying in our airspace. We don't know what it is. We need to find out. Congress continued to pursue the truth behind UFO sightings well into 2020. They were concerned that a foreign power may have more advanced technology that could undermine the interests of the USA in the world. But a former head of the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program said that he didn't believe the USA has a technological rifle. If a country like Russia were spying on us that befuddled an experienced military pilot, it would be hard to keep that from the public. It would be all over the news. USS Kearsarge, two car-sized balls of light. Besides, there have been cases where the UFO is clearly not a foreign spying technology or anything along those lines. This one time, Marines aboard the USS Kearsarge were caught off guard when strange objects in the sky weren't detected by the anti-drone Ghostbusters, which are used to target potential adversaries. The UFOs had been spying on Marines for several nights while they trained off the East Coast in October 2021. Oddly, the crew couldn't get a thermal targeting lock on the objects. Late one night, the objects were hovering just 200 feet above the water. Some describe them as two car-sized balls of light. What's horrifying is that those lights chased the ship for over a mile. The entire time, they were swooping and darting from side to side. The Marines didn't know what they were looking at. They tried radioing command, but all command said about the flying objects was, they're not ours. I can't imagine what that would have felt like, not knowing what's chasing you. What would you do in such a situation? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to get to know some of you. Anyway, the crew recorded the incident, but no footage has been released to the public yet. On the other hand, following Congress's move to learn more about the mysterious sightings of UFOs, the Pentagon presented a report. In it, they wrote that the quality of the videos makes it hard to know the nature or intent of the UAP. They did not explicitly rule out that they could be of extraterrestrial origin either. In fact, as the movement against ufologists has grown, another former Pentagon official said that the Pentagon still classifies a lot of information, so the public never knows the whole truth. We keep coming back to that, not knowing enough. Of course, the report also stated that the sightings could be airborne debris or classified technology invented in the USA. I guess when it comes down to it, we can all agree that more research needs to be done before drawing conclusions, and that's fair. USS Nimitz Encounter UFO reports aren't anything new. 
there were reports of many Navy UFO sightings at the time, and you can go way back to the beginning of this century and find reports of sightings too. Take the USS Nimitz encounter in 2004, when David Fravor and his co-pilot Alex Dietrich were 100 miles off the coast of San Diego. They were in the middle of a training mission when a warship asked them to investigate something their radar picked up. Whatever it was, it was moving in a perplexing way. While they were investigating this, something caught their eye. It was flying above the ocean water. It looked like a white tic-tac. The pilots wanted to engage with the UFO, but they couldn't figure out what it was. And when they flew close to it, it started to mimic them before vanishing. Moments after vanishing, the USS Princeton picked up the object on its radar. It was 60 miles away from where it had left David and Alex. That object was seen yet again by a different flight crew before disappearing again. It turned out the USS Princeton was already tracking the object prior to the sightings. It had been popping in and out of radar for a couple of days. Both David and Alex have been open about that experience. Alex even encourages other people who have seen UFOs to step forward and speak their truth. She has previously said that folks might be concerned about their careers or their church or something like that. They don't want to be the kooky UFO person. So I guess I'm trying to normalize it by talking about it. Well, times are changing. So we imagine more people will start coming forward with evidence whenever they see UFOs or anything mysterious flying in our airspace. In 2020, the Deputy Secretary of Defense helped the cause by improving the formation of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force that collects stories and evidence about UFO or UAP sightings. They analyze what's before them and determine what has infiltrated our airspace. Now the answer to that may well be top secret American technology, foreign spying drones, or debris. But one way or another, we'll come to learn that we don't live in this universe alone. Thanks for watching that video. Make sure to like and comment below if you believe any of the Navy sightings of UFOs are real. And be sure to tune in next week. We're going to investigate if aliens had a hand in building one of the architectural wonders of the ancient world, the pyramids.